One of the most asked questions when it comes to Tableau is how to prepare for an interview related to Tableau. Um, maybe you're applying for a role, maybe you're wondering how to prepare for a specific role, or maybe you're wondering, hey, I found this role that I'm really interested in. How do I maximize my chances so that I can perform really well in this interview? Now, the reason that's a difficult question is because uh, your technical skills aren't enough. You also need to understand uh, what to expect from the interview, but you also need to know how you might prepare for such an interview, given that the requirements span more than just technical knowledge. It also spans a general understanding of analytics and also some soft skills as well. And although I've made videos about soft skills and how to prepare for learning Tableau, um, the tough thing here is that when you get asked this uh, question, especially when I get asked this question, my, my advice is kind of useless because I've been in this game for almost a decade. I'm a consultant as well. So my answers are not going to be helpful for someone who's just starting out. And so I'm always sort of really struggling to understand how can I synthesize the most useful help and advice for people in something concise and consistent? Because if I'm honest, when I look at YouTube and I look at a lot of the advice being given out, it's being given by people who've not really spent enough time in the industry to understand the nuances of this. And so the best people to ask are people who've recently done those interviews, who've recently done those questions, or specifically people who've just got those jobs. So if you know a friend who's just got a job in a role, they're the best people to ask because they have first-hand evidence and first-hand experience of how it works. But <clears throat> let's say you don't have any of that. What do you do? Well, you grab your phone and you chat to ChatGPT. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so an experience you might not be familiar with is you can actually open up ChatGPT on your phone. I'll put it up on screen right here. And you can actually talk to it um, as if you're having a conversation. So right here, I'm in the native experience, but if I go ahead and I click on this uh, headphone icon here, it opens up this experience. I can ask it, hey, what can you help me with? Absolutely. Uh, you can ask me a wide range of questions or seek assistance on various topics, whether it's about data analytics, clarifying complex concepts, exploring creative ways to present information, or general inquiries on diverse subjects. Feel free to ask, how can I assist you today? Okay, and so part of that experience is that you can essentially actually have a conversation about Tableau. And in this case, I'm going to ask it if it can help me with an interview next week. Um, certainly I can help you prepare for your Tableau interview. It's great to focus on understanding key Tableau concepts, common functionalities, and maybe some advanced features, depending on the role you're interviewing for. We could also discuss how to effectively communicate your skills and experience with Tableau. Um, what specific areas would you like to focus on for your interview preparation? Okay, so my interview next week is actually for a senior Tableau developer role. It requires three years of experience, and it's specifically for a pharmaceutical company. Um, one of the things they've mentioned in the job description is they don't just want someone who's good at building dashboards. They also want someone to lead a team of developers to build reports, uh, essentially uh, come up with a governance structure for how those reports should be deployed across the organization. And then lastly, they want someone with Tableau Cloud experience. Can you help bullet point out some of the things I should consider to prepare for the interview? Absolutely, for a senior Tableau developer role, especially in a pharmaceutical context, there are several key areas to focus on. One, leadership and team management. Emphasize your experience in leading teams. Consider discussing how you've managed projects, coordinated with different stakeholders, and mentored junior developers. Reflect on your approach to team dynamics and conflict resolution. Two, governance structure. It's crucial to understand the principles of data governance. Think about how you would establish processes for data quality, security, and access. Share any previous experiences where you set up or adhered to governance structures. Three, Tableau expertise. Besides proficiency in dashboard creation, delve into your skills in data blending, complex calculations, and using Tableau's advanced features. Familiarize yourself with the latest Tableau updates and features. Four, pharmaceutical industry insights. Having industry-specific knowledge can be a big plus. Uh, if you have experience with pharmaceutical data, discuss it. 
otherwise research common KPIs and data challenges in this industry. Five, Tableau Cloud Experience. Be ready to talk about your experience with Tableau Online or Tableau Server, especially in cloud environments. Discuss any challenges you faced and how you overcame them, along with the benefits of cloud-based analytics. Six, communication skills. As a senior role, your ability to communicate complex data concepts in a clear and accessible manner is crucial. Think of examples where you've successfully translated data insights to non-technical stakeholders. Preparing examples and scenarios where you've applied these skills will make your responses more impactful. Good luck with your interview. Do you have any specific questions or areas you'd like to delve deeper into? Okay, actually, yes. There is a technical component for the interview, and um, I kind of don't know what questions to expect. Can you suggest some kind of exercises I might be given for that technical component? Certainly for a technical interview for a senior Tableau developer role, you might encounter a variety of exercises and questions. Here are some common types of exercises to expect and prepare for. One, dashboard development. You might be given a data set and asked to create a dashboard. This tests your ability to choose the right type of charts, use filters, and ensure the dashboard is user-friendly and informative. Two, data blending and manipulation. Exercises could involve blending data from different sources or manipulating data within Tableau. This tests your understanding of Tableau's data handling capabilities. Three, complex calculations. Be prepared to create calculated fields, use LOD, level of detail expressions, or write complex formulas. This assesses your ability to handle advanced data analysis within Tableau. Four, performance optimization. You may be asked how to optimize a dashboard for better performance. This could involve discussing extract versus live connections, optimizing calculations, and reducing dashboard load time. Five, scenario-based questions. You might be presented with a specific scenario, e.g. a data inconsistency issue or a user access problem, and asked how you would resolve it using Tableau's features. Uh, six, Tableau Server Cloud. If the role involves Tableau Cloud or Server, expect questions about deploying and managing dashboards in a cloud environment, handling user permissions, and ensuring data security. Um, to prepare, it can be helpful to practice with real data sets, maybe even related to the pharmaceutical industry. Would you like more detailed tips on any specific type of exercise? Yes, actually, I'm, I'm super interested about the point you made about uh, the relationships and the data model. Um, can you recommend some resources that I can maybe go and find some specific help on that? To enhance your understanding of data modeling and relationships in Tableau, especially in preparation for your interview, here are some valuable resources. One, Tableau's official guide on data modeling. This guide covers the basics of relationships in Tableau, explaining how they can reduce upfront data wow. preparation by automatically combining relevant tables at the time of analysis, thus preserving the right level of detail. Two, questions about relationships the data model, and data sources. Tableau's help section provides a comprehensive overview, including introducing new data modeling, tips and tricks, and how to pose questions across multiple related tables. Three, relate your data, Tableau help guide. This section further elaborates on combining data using relationships, an important feature of Tableau's new data modeling capabilities. Four, don't be scared of relationships. Tableau. This resource is designed to make you comfortable with Tableau's new data modeling capabilities, explaining how relationships combine data from different tables based on common columns. Uh, five, the Tableau data model. Tableau, it details how creating relationships between tables in Tableau can aggregate measures before performing joins, thus avoiding unnecessary duplication and simplifying the tracking of the level of detail in your measures. Six. Relationships Part 2, Tips and Tricks. Tableau, a useful resource for practical tips and tricks in using relationships for more flexible analysis in Tableau. Seven, Relationships. Asking questions across multiple related tables. 
This series covers the introduction to relationships, tips and tricks with filters, and row-level calculations, which are essential for a senior Tableau developer role. These resources provide a mix of theoretical knowledge and practical tips that should be very useful in preparing for your technical interview. They cover various aspects of data modeling and relationships in Tableau, essential for a senior role in a pharmaceutical company. Okay. Um... I'm also slightly concerned about, you know, just general conversations about data viz best practice. Can you recommend maybe two or three books I should go and read? Um, I've got a week to the interview, so ideally I should be able to consume the books within that time. Have you got any suggestions? Certainly focusing on books that provide concise yet insightful coverage on data best practices is a smart strategy for your interview prep. Given your time constraints, here are three highly recommended books. One, Storytelling with Data, a data visualization guide for business professionals by Cole Nussbaumer. This book is excellent for understanding how to present data effectively. Yes. It teaches you how to use visualization to tell a compelling story with data, a crucial skill for any data professional. Two, The Big Book of Dashboards. Visualizing the yes. data using real-world business scenarios by Steve Wexler, Jeffrey Schaffer, and Andy Cotgreave. This book is especially relevant for your Tableau role. It provides practical guidance on how to build effective, insightful dashboards tailored to specific business needs. Three, Naked Statistics, Stripping the Dread from the Data by Charles Whelan. Yes. While not a technical manual, this book offers an engaging introduction to the fundamentals of statistics making complex concepts accessible and enjoyable. It's great for brushing up on statistical principles, which underpin much of data analysis work. These books are well regarded in the data community for their practical insights and engaging writing style, making them relatively quick reads. They should provide you with a solid foundation in data visualization best practices, dashboard design, and statistical thinking, all of which are valuable for your upcoming interview. Happy reading. Okay, <clears throat> last question. This interview is remote. Uh, the company's based in America, East Coast. I'm based in London. Um, what tips can you give me for a remote interview, especially in this context? Um, anything I should be aware of ahead of time? Uh, for a remote interview, especially when it involves different time zones like yours between London and the East Coast of America, there are several key points to keep in mind. One, time zone awareness. Double check the time of the interview in both your local time and the interviewer's time zone to avoid any confusion. Two, technical setup. Ensure your internet connection is stable. Test your camera and microphone beforehand. Uh, choose a quiet, well-lit space where you won't be interrupted. Three, dress professionally. Even though it's a remote interview, dress as you would for an in-person interview. Yeah. This shows professionalism and respect for the company's culture. Four, prepare your environment. Have a clean, tidy background. A cluttered or distracting background can take away from the focus of the interview. <laughs> Five, practice with the platform. Familiarize yourself with the software or platform like Zoom, Microsoft Teams, etc. that will be used for the interview. Check how to mute, unmute, turn the video on off and share your screen. Six, cultural awareness. Be mindful of any cultural differences. American business culture might have different norms compared to the UK, such as communication style. Seven, engagement. Maintain eye contact by looking at the camera. Nod and smile to show engagement as it's harder to convey so body good. language over video. Eight, eight, have materials ready. Keep your resume, job description, and any notes handy, but avoid sounding like you're reading them. Nine, prepare questions. Have some questions ready about the company or role showing your interest and in research. Uh, Ten, Follow up, send a thank you email after the interview, expressing your appreciation for the opportunity Excellent. and reiterating your interest in the role. Remember, remote interviews have their unique challenges, but they also offer you the comfort of being in your own space. Good luck with your interview. Okay, thank you. Now, <laughs> I don't know about you, but if you had no one else to have that conversation with, didn't have a peer, didn't have a point of context, and you were starting from zero, and you know you're about to go through maybe 
five or 10 Tableau interviews or roles that are related to Tableau, or maybe you're just looking for your first role in the analytics space and you're trying to make sure you make the best first impression. If you have this conversation with ChatGPT, not only will you actually get tips and tricks that you maybe didn't even think about, there were a couple of points there that I just would even forget to mention. And they're actually really important, especially if it's the first time that you've experienced them. Now, the key thing is that I was very open and forward about all of these questions. You can actually see you can actually see the detail of the questions. And one of the interesting things now is that uh, we've just finished the uh, recording, the session. I've I've come out of the specific thing. And actually what it's done is it's actually got the full transcript of the discussion. So everything we've just discussed, I can actually go into ChatGPT itself and it's got everything, the lists, the resources, the books, everything we covered. And it's even busy quoting the website. You can see here where it has these quotes. It's actually giving me the links specifically to those resources. So there's so many videos out there. There's so many resources out there on having uh, interviews uh, and whatever. And of course, I am using ChatGPT Plus. So this is using a slightly enhanced GPT model in order to do this. But nonetheless, if you have no one else to talk to and you're just trying to get off the ground for the first time, maybe you're maybe you're about to go for roles in six months time. Have this conversation now, go through everything in this list and you've genuinely got enough time to start prepping yourself. Read the books, go through the resources, start building your portfolio with these points in mind. And I honestly can't see how you'll find an interview tough. All the all the hard work of being good in an interview is partly dependent on how prepared you are and knowing what to expect. If everything that comes up is within your expectations, and the only thing, the only thing that's going to stop you from getting that role is someone better out there. And that's always the case. That's always going to be the case. It doesn't matter how hard you prepare, but just giving yourself the most amount of chance with something like this, I think this is incredible. This is just an experience I've shown you. You can have your own conversation. I've done this partly to show people that, look, there's lots of help out there these days. There's lots of resources out there. And for the price of a one month subscription to ChatGPT, I couldn't think of a better place to get help on this specific topic. So there you go. That's how to prepare for a Tableau interview brought to you by ChatGPT.